Hi you all. Um, my name is Lisa Welsh. Um, I've had depression and anxiety for 20 years, a year after my first born. Um, didn't have an easy marriage. It, was, um, it led into a, a, a very domestic abuse marriage, um, mentally abused and physically sometimes. I'm currently a Kais peer mentor for the new Coverley Cymru out to peer mentoring project in Wrexham. Before this, I was a recovery coach and had previously been a mentor for the original peer mentoring project in 2014. Prior to this, I was a dedicated volunteer. My Kais journey really began in 2009 at Touchstones 12 in Colwyn Bay, where I was given the opportunity to access courses as a service user for Kais such as self-esteem, confidence and relapse prevention and I knew what I wanted to do. This game. She worked for 25 years as a nurse and now that her son had grown up and married she longed to become a nanny. She finished work with ill health and when she got well she became bored, fed up, lonely. She found solace in alcohol, drinking anything from cider to vodka to wine. This continued night and day for two years. Uh, now, my definition of a mentor is someone who helps another person realise the best possible version of themselves. They empower you. And empowering someone isn't solving problems for them, it is showing them what tools they need and helping them realise that they are able to use those tools. Around eight years ago, I was certain that I was incapable of doing anything. I had resigned to the idea that I would never accomplish anything and spent my time self-medicating with alcohol and other mood-altering substances. I would reinforce the idea that I'm not capable of doing anything by never attempting to do anything. The thought of failure was so painful for me that I completely talked myself out of trying, because why try when you know that you're going to fail? This negative cycle, cycle helped me to rationalise the harmful choices that I was making and served to keep me isolated and entrenched. This thought process caused a domino effect in my life that started with my job, followed by my home and my physical and mental health and each loss helped solidify the idea that I was useless. I was eventually convinced to attend Wakada. I say convinced, I was cornered in a kitchen by a friend who had seen too much, uh, but she pulled my leg uh, and sort of twisted my arm around and pulled my leg and told me to go and tell me I could play guitar on the domino project. So that caused a far more positive domino effect. Uh, I, hi, my name's Gareth, okay. My story begins as an 18 year old I was given a methadone prescription and I was parked up on this prescription for over 15 years of my life and just left to get on with it. In 2008, the capitalistic event happened. I went to prison for a charge linked to class A, supply of class A drugs. While in prison, I lost my parents, which I know now is no excuse, but upon my release in 2009, I was placed back on a prescription. I thought that this cycle would never end with me going back in the same crowd and back in the, on the script again. But things were different now. I had a new type of drug worker who looked at my life after the script. I was told about this new project called Peer Mentoring, so I was referred into the project at the tail end of my treatment in 2010. I started as a volunteer. The scheme put me on more training that I could shake a stick at. Yeah. After many, many months of volunteering, she gained employment with the Peer Mentor Service and became part of the team. Many people can relate to journeys through recovery like this. However, today, the particular journey I have spoke about is a true version of someone's life, and that life was mine. My name is Bev. I'm an active treatment case worker within the North Gwent Strand of the GDAS service. I'm nearly five years sober. My grandson is nearly five years old. He's the reason I'm the strong person I have today. Thank you for listening. You yes. Thank you. Recently, we have had the happy news that the peer mentoring project is returning to offer people training, education, and support needed into further education or work, partnered with Kais, Havel, and Remploy in North Wales. I am currently setting up the new project in Wrexham. I am excited and positive that the new pro project will open so many doors for clients as peer mentoring has and continues to do for me. After a round of year of volunteering, I interviewed to become a paid member of staff uh, on the peer mentoring project and I was successful. Despite my first day of work being on April 1st, they were serious. <laughs> and uh, 
I was privileged to become part of a team that helped change my life forever, and I'm once again privileged to be part of this exciting new project. I'm very fortunate to be able to work for a project that I have complete faith in. All I have to do to remind myself uh, of the benefits of peer mentoring is look in the mirror. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to make others realize how capable they are too. Thank you. This was an amazing time to think that me, someone who had been written off so many times, was helping support people change their lives. It was a great honor to support these, these individuals, some back into work and others to break the cycle of an addiction and come out the other side and see what life can offer substance free. So when I was asked to give a speech by Caroline, it was a great honor and a great privilege to give a speech. Uh, long may this project continue, it's been sorely missed for the past two years and I hope it continues for ever. My depression got a lot worse. Um, then I was going to be evicted because I was left in a, in a lot of debt um, from my from my ex. Um, but the landlord, he he came out to see me uh, about my rent arrears, and he's seen how how bad I was and that I had a lot of problems. Um, so he got me help by referring me to Goval um, to tenancy support. They sorted me out financially. Uh, first of all, it was, it was a support worker just coming in, um, you know, and just sort of just being there for you, just listening to your story. Um, um, I put my effort into becoming a support worker. Um, I went through interviews, getting more confident each time. Um, I used to go out with visits with my support worker, um, just to, so that I could see what, what goes on. Uh, then I had an offer to go on bank relief. I was so ecstatic. I ended up being offered a job in Tiorborn, supported living full time. Um, I, 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 it's still, it's still hard going to work, you know, I've still got some problems and, and problems still arising, but I can cope with it now because I've got all the coping strategies, I've got all the tools and I can, I can live my life now. Um, it's still hard remembering, you know, to take my tablets, to eat, to, to fit in a bit of exercise because we, we know it's all important in doing it. Um, if someone told me in four, and a half, in four and a half years that I would be working full time in such a challenging, interesting and rewarding job, I would have laughed in their face. Um, I get to go on holidays now, and for once in my life, I can concentrate on me. I can now look in the mirror and think, do you know, Ollie's, you're okay, you are, you know? Because um, I hated myself in the mirror, but I can look now and say, you're all right, you're doing all right. Um, so I'm, I'm now living my life for once. Um, I, I didn't think I would be here to live it. Um, Tennessee Sports saved me, Pathways give me a reason to wake up in the morning. Um, that's my story, guys. <laughs> Thank you.